Hey, hey, what is going on? I am down here in, shoot, I'm pretty close to Sun City, but you can call it Phoenix. And look at this. Look at this weather out here. It's freaking amazing. Nice and warm. This is what I'm talking about. I, I don't think you need ice in any place but a cold drink. And I've been running around doing my thing with the truck today. And I had this, I had this load where it was cardboard and the shipper did not secure the cardboard to the pallet effectively enough. And I was driving through Vegas and I had to hit my brake a little harder than normal because the traffic situation happened. And I, I remember thinking, ah, oh, man, that couldn't have been good. And sure enough, today I find out that the, the cardboard slid off the pallet and it kind of got ugly in a couple places in the truck. And the first thing that comes to my mind is I saw it. When I, when I pick it up, I can see they're not doing enough to secure their product to the pallet. And by the way, everybody always tries to blame the driver when anything happens. It's, it's always the driver. Almost never is, but he always gets a blame, you know? It's like that Cheech and Chong thing. I never do nothing wrong, but every time I get the blame. <laughs> anyway, a little side note. Thing is, if you're gonna do something, especially if it has to do with your product or service, people talk about going the extra mile. Well, to me, that's the norm. And I'm not talking about doing extra things. I'm talking about just doing what it takes to make sure that you don't have a problem like that. Maybe a few more wraps of plastic around that stack and the stuff wouldn't have been able to slide forward. But I know for a fact, if they would have put the st these plastic straps that they have and strapped down that cardboard to the pallet, nothing would have happened because this stuff's heavy. It's heavy, but it's slippery. And so, you know, I hit the brake and it, oh, it just slid right off. So when you're doing anything in your business, do what it takes to make sure that you get the job done the way it's supposed to be done, just because your name's on it. Screw refunds and bad press and all this none of that stuff matters what matters is did you in your own mind meet your own standard which is making sure that everything is taken care of if you're not going to do that i recommend you run a laundry or something where you don't have to <laughs> have to do too much but even then you got to clean the place up and you have soap in the dispenser and all that so if if you've ever had a problem, and who hasn't, with a product or a service that didn't work right, I'm sure you can pick out at least one or two instances where the business bent over backwards to make things right. You know what? That did not turn out the way it was supposed to. Let us take care of it. And I am equally confident that you could find one or two instances where there are looking at you like, well, you know, tough. That's just the way the ball bounces, the cookie crumbles, whatever. So if things didn't work out for you, we're sorry, but uh, have a nice day. And that is no way to run a business as far as I'm concerned. So in your day to day, put out that little bit extra. You will make people so happy, especially if something goes wrong and you fix it for them. That's what I got for today. I hope you're having a beautiful day like this wherever you are. Till tomorrow, I'm out.